China blocks a proposal by India and United States at the United Nations to blacklist top Pakistan-based Lashkar-e-Toyba terrorist Sajid Mir. He was the main handler of the 26-11 attacks. Thousands queue up in London to file past the coffin of Queen Elizabeth despite a 14-hour long wait. David Beckham queues up the whole night and was seen teary-eyed. Good evening again, viewers. Let's now turn to our top focus story at this hour. The Maharashtra government has floated a formal proposal to ban homework in schools. School Education Minister Deepak Kesarkar said that the state government is actually contemplating this proposal to do away with the concept of homework for school-going children in the state. The minister said that this actually overburdens children. It is important to ensure development of their brain and homework is counterproductive, adding that the government also feels that homework should not become an easy escape for teachers, pushing the learning process to parents at home. Instead, a teacher should take full responsibility for the learning in class with such focus that students should not have to do homework at home. But teachers' organizations have questioned this move, saying that the blanket rule of no homework will be harmful for children. Let's listen in to the minister. This is the first thing that the people are overburdened by the people who are overburdened by the people and the other homework is the first thing that the teachers are 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 the first thing होमवर्क करने ची आवश्यकता राहता का मने असे मतलब व्यक्तिगत मत दाय पर तो हमी टीचर्स जो जो एसोसिएशन है तेंचा शी बोलें संस्था चालक अंशी बोलें अन्य नंतर तेंचा निर्णय के लिए उड़ा मोटा निर्णय सजा सजी घेता इतने तो लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द फिगर्स लेट्स टेक अ लुक व्हाई इन इंडिया होमवर्क for homework is phenomenally higher in India compared to the rest of the world. So let's put those figures out that we have managed to take out on time spent on homework per week. So India, as you can see, 12 hours per week, close second, not very close second, but the country that we are looking at after India is Brazil and Russia, seven and a half hours. China, 7.2 hours per week. United States, six hours, half the time spent on homework compared to India. Germany, five hours per week. So this is one uh, aspect we are looking at in terms of the quantum of the issue. Why it becomes a burden is because the amount of time devoted to homework is far greater than many of the countries in the advanced world. How do Indian schools assess students? Let's look at the next figures now. And we see that 74.3% use homework, believe or operate with homework in their a teaching learning process. 74.3% use homework as one of the methods for teaching and learning. 24.3% use project-based learning. So there has been modification of what is called uh, homework, but now there are various different versions of it. Let's first quickly go across to my colleague Shrushti, who's reporting from Mumbai. I believe she has kids with her. It's important to get the little ones in to hear what they have to say on this. Shushti, over to you. Uh, has, this, has this news spread among children yet that there is this kind of a proposal? Many would be very happy among the children, I can imagine. But what have you found out for us? Yes, uh, since afternoon we are reporting on this and what we are concluding it is that some are happy and some are not. So let's try and talk to some children over here. You do homework in your class? Third. You like third standard? Do you like homework? Yes. If you say that you will not get homework in school, then how do you feel? I don't feel good. I have to study at home, so I have to study at home. You get homework in the school, so you think it's more? Yes. Do you like to do homework? If you get a lot of homework, do you feel good or not? 
अच्छा लगता है आप बताओ आप कौन से क्लास में हो और आपको होमवर्क करना पसंद है कैसे लगता है आपको होमवर्क करना मैं फिफ्थ क्लास में हूँ और मेरे को होमवर्क करना अच्छा लगता है आपको अगर कल से बोला जाए कि होमवर्क नहीं मिलेगा तो कैसे लगे मेरे को अच्छा नहीं लगेगा क्योंकि मेरे को होमवर्क पसंद है इसलिए तो दीज आर दॉइस ऑफ लिटिल चिल्ड्रेन ओवर हेयर हु आर सेंग दैट दे लाइक टू डू होमवर्क बट ऑन द अदर हैंड दीपक केसरकर महाराष्ट्र एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर सेट दैट होमवर्क विल नॉट बी गिवन टू स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू फोर्थ एंड ही ऑल्सो स्टेटेड दैट दिस इज टू रिड्यूस द बर्डन फ्रॉम द शोल्डर्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ होमवर्क एज वेल एज द बैग्स ही ऑल्सो स्टेटेड दैट इन बुक्स देर विल बी पेजेस अटैच आफ्टर एवरी चैप्टर्स सो एज दे वोट गेट burden after uh, of the books by the by the bags which they carry to schools he also added that teachers should teach students in a way in that particular half an hour which they get with students that no homework is needed after they go back home now this goes with the policy of central of uh, national education also there were there was one point regarding the school bag policy that uh, students will not be given homework till class second okay. so this decision how much it gets implemented mm -hmm. and uh, what are the repercussions and what are the positive sides of it that uh, we have to see further but yes. as of now some students are happy some are not yes thanks for bringing us the voices of the little ones uh, in their limited understanding from their perspective they have spoken out but it's always good to get them on the show thanks trishti for joining us Let me introduce our panel this evening joining us here on the program Dr Samir Dalwai developmental pediatrician and director of New Horizons Health and Research Foundation advocate Anubha Srivastava Sahai president of Indian Wide Parents Association India Wide Parents Association and Ms Urvashi Makhija vice principal at Billabong High International School Malad very good evening ladies and gentlemen thanks for joining me here on Mirror Now Dr Dalwai if I may begin with you because it's very important we put things in perspective uh there's a certain context to this it's not as simple as should homework be banned or not uh the, the government has actually uh, floated this proposal uh with a certain amount of thinking i imagine because there is an issue of the overall perspective of teaching learning process in state run schools in particular uh whether that is happening on the right track whether there is uh, a push over of uh, work to parents at home that aspect is there but of course there's this also other aspect of overall when we looked at the figures we saw yes we are spending phenomenally high amount of time on so called homework uh, as a country compared to the rest of the world but again as a parent i would say what's wrong with it dr dalwai reading of it ji i think we are coming from a period of 2 years of lockdown when there has been only homework and homework but looking at the larger debate i think when we talk about homework we must look at it in the context of education overall and not just as a part of it unfortunately i may say homework constitutes a very large part of our education system because the education system largely is the mecolian education system which is largely based on road based learning i'm sure many of the top schools in the top cities have deviated and moved away from this but in the large number of schools across the country it's still the factory kind of education that's going on where it's largely road based learning and the same is expected that the children go home and repeat and practice what has been road learned in the school so that they can road learn that even better and then they'll be able to kind of reproduce it verbatim in the exams now mm -hmm. there are various stakeholders the parents are very happy with this because eventually for them the education game is of getting marks and what better way to get marks than to make your children practice the same rote learning again and get marks the teachers the second stakeholders also they've been trained in an education system to just do this and that's all probably that is largely known and also it's reproducible so that's what's happening across the schools hmm. the third part but is but some okay please finish hmm. the third part is the children are we talking in terms of education as a learning process or just rote learning because learning requires particular three uh, eminence features one is that the child should be in a relaxed mode of mind child should be focused attentive not being distracted willing to learn the second aspect is has the child mastered the knowledge that is required to be mastered before the current learning that is needed and thirdly is the child administered or explained what needs to be taught in a way that the child can understand 
again not everybody learns at the same pace mm. so you may need to repeat this once or twice and thereafter it's a good idea to ask the child to explain or reproduce what the child has understood from what has been communicated by the teacher okay rather not than have a go. formal system where you go home and you write a few sheets of paper fill in a few sheets in terms of what you are required to do without understanding without like you said mastering the subject doesn't make sense but i didn't quite understand why you would say homework necessarily uh, is connected to rote learning i'm a parent myself and i know and in from my interaction with teachers the idea that i am told is to reinforce learning what is taught in class needs to be reinforced and i see that in life we use the word homework in other aspects as well i am asked to do homework as an anchor that did you do your homework before going into the show so it's part of a life skill that we build into children that if you want to excel in something you got to have a habit of practicing it back home revisiting what you have acquired in the classroom so that you know you retain it retention of uh, information again is something that you need to build early in children quick response dr dalwai you are talking about probably a school in a city like mumbai and a very a big school or a top school which has a international curriculum probably i'm talking about the vast majority of maybe 80% of children in the country who okay. have that method of rote learning okay let me have the parent and the teacher also uh, weigh in on this uh, urvashi makija your response as a teacher uh, you would have interacted with hundreds of school children you would have actually uh, been the person who kind of uh, uh, gives out homework and then looks at what children bring back what has been your experience is it a menace is it something that needs to be done away with or do we simply need to limit limit it uh good evening ms afrida so uh uh thank you for the question uh, actually as as an educationist even i feel that homework should not be totally done away with so mm -hmm. uh because whatever is taught in school that needs to be reinforced with homework and uh, but it definitely should not be to an extent where it overburdens the child or it becomes overwhelming for them but definitely they need to do a little bit of homework uh, as a recap of whatever is done in the school that will uh, you know strengthen their concepts better okay to strengthen the concepts that is the view from the teacher let's have the parent representative as well yes anubha ji go ahead yeah see i welcome this move because see what is happening i chat with so many parents and students also and most of the children are overburdened with homework and they have to carry homework book then classwork also book they have the bag weight which we have uh, recently verified in most of the schools is almost 3 to 4 or maybe 5 kg as per rte the bag weight should be 1 tenth of the weight of the child but it is not the case the parents are complaining that uh, children are overburdened because of the homework they carry so many books at home at school again they have to come back to home and then finish up their homework what i am saying that The, what the proposal is uh, has come up with the Maharashtra government that let there be a page attached in the notebook itself in the textbook uh, where the student can uh, do their classwork and if if required for practice also let there be a one or two pages extra where the uh, children can come home and they can uh, practice at home. No need to carry homework books daily to school. That is the main concern which the parents are raising. And uh, any parents not able to uh, focus on studies at home. There are many parents who are working. Many parents who are not educated. They have to uh, send their children for tuition classes. Many students are going for tuition classes to complete their homework. Why? Mm -hmm. Why we need all these things? Basically, I think the children should be taught in school properly. And if required for practice session, maybe just before uh, any exam, the children can be given some practice sheets to complete at home. But again, can classwork and textbook uh, daily to school is a very difficult uh, it's very challenging task for children especially and for parents also okay ulvashi well, i want to ask you this question and this is a common complaint with parents isn't it that the kind of work yeah. that a child is expected to do at home requires a parent involvement for a working mother like me it's very difficult to finish my work and then get home and then now start sitting with the child and getting work done so therefore uh, there would be many parents who would complain that the learning process should be done in school whatever is to be done at home the child should be able to do it 
Uh, is there a, such a policy that schools follow that whatever work is to be given, it's not something that requires parental involvement? Uh, is there uh, something that yeah. is kept in mind? Yes, yeah, so most of the work uh, that we, uh, you know, give as homework is to be done to test the understanding of the child, not the parent. So that is why uh, we, yes. you know, encourage the students that whatever they do, whether, you know, uh, because some parents ask for perfection from the child and that is why they keep helping the child. Rather than that, they should allow the child to do the homework and complete their task. And if they are making mistakes, the teachers are definitely there at school to help them out and solve their doubts. So We are aware uh, that, that this, has, this has set off a pattern and then parents and hire tutors because like you said, it's a competitive environment. Most Indian parents have that competitive spirit. So they'll do everything they can to get them to push them ahead. And uh, so this culture of tutors and very early on in life, the child is burdened. So there is a concern here, which I think all three panelists have shared. But Dr. Dalvai, another aspect, since this is your area of expertise and you deal with uh, children who have learning disabilities, uh, who have problems of learning, uh, do you think that, you know, it, there needs to be a better policy around these things to accommodate, to be more inclusive of all kinds of children? Basic educational aspect itself is flawed. We have to understand the difference between learning to understand or understanding to learn versus just memorizing something. What happens is basically we are just trying to, yeah, like you mentioned about homework. Mm -hmm. So children come home from school, they have school homework. Then they go for tuitions, then they have tuition homeworks. Then the parents come home after eight, 7 or 8 p.m. And then there is dinner and over dinner there is a big squabble and fight over homework. And the entire atmosphere gets so sad the child goes to bed at 12, 12, 30, sad because of all these issues. So we need to understand that the school work has to be finished at school. Whatever needs to be done at home is optional or not mandatory to require a parent with the child. When we come to special children, mm -hmm. the single most problem is this. The pace at which the children are being taught in the classroom may be possible that 60, 70% of the children who are very, very good or are well endowed may be able to keep pace with it. But the children who are, for whatever reason, and I may use a word, slow, are not catching up with it. Whether it is ADHD, whether it is learning disability, whether it is intellectual disability, the problem is this. That if the child has not picked up or understood what has been explained today, tomorrow when the child comes back to class, if the teacher carries on from ahead, but the child has not learned what was taught yesterday, the child's gap in learning will continue to keep increasing exponentially till a time that the child is disconnected with what's happening in the classroom. And this is what I see with my children with learning disability, with slow learners, with intellectually disabled children, as well as children with ADHD and with autism. Mm -hmm. This gap is the biggest problem that we have to address. And hence, when we teach, we need to be aware what is the child picking up. And if a child is not picking up at the pace that the other children are, being, are picking up, she needs to be taught in a way or in a manner or at a pace she needs to pick up. So the Maharashtra Dyslexia Association has a very good statement that it quotes that if I can't le learn the way you teach, teach me the way I can learn. So this individualization is extremely important in children's special needs. Otherwise, the children... Yes, the I understand. Well you, yes, you've made some very important points and I do appreciate the fact, the emphasis that you're putting on the issue of making the teaching learning process more efficient more meaningful because that's the larger idea urvashi makhija last word to you it's true isn't it school ka homework fir tutor ka bhi homework hota hai aajkal. that's the level of burden that we put on our children so if the idea is to unburden our kids so be it let homework be out of the picture let the children enjoy the childhood you and me would agree that there can be nothing as joyous a period of life as one's childhood. We rob our children of childhood many a times, don't we? Yeah, we definitely, uh, you know, I agree that uh, uh, we do, bur I mean, uh, schools do burden at times, but that is the main idea of this, that the homework should be in such a limit that it doesn't overburden. Right. And uh, tuitions definitely are an option as a choice for parents. Mm. Not everybody goes for tuitions. And uh, I mean, 
definitely it, it needs to be reduced uh, homework needs to be reduced okay. to a level so i would say things are them. on track it's healthy it's thinking it's just yes correct. quickly sir please go ahead dr garwai i like to end by just saying uh, urdu uh, hindi share if you permit me dhoop mein niklo ghatao mein naha kar dekho dhoop mein niklo ghatao mein naha kar dekho zindagi hai kya kitabon ko hata kar dekho <laughs> lovely thank you so much for giving me a nice closing point with a shairi it's very rare uh, that people come and uh, you know recite poetry but thank you dr samir dalwai and urvashi makija i think we lost uh, anubha sai but thanks very much for joining us on this program thank you thank you